do we get headache really i'm having a head pain right now many of us have experienced pain in our head at some point this pain is called the headache and from where it originate it originate in the nerve surrounding to the brain sending pain signals to the brain resulting in the headache although it may feel as if your brain is hurting a lot because it does not have a receptor to feel the pain headache are only way to which our brain tell us when other parts of our body has hurted but what cause headache well this type of a pain generally arises in the nerve blood vessels and the muscles around your head and the neck sometimes headache are of a two type primary and secondary headache primary headache are caused due to the inflammations or over activity of muscles nerve and the blood vessels in the head or neck when a medical conditions occur in our body we feel some sort of a pain that received through sensitive nerve in our head it cause secondary headache well this type of a pain generally arise in the nerve blood vessels and muscles around your head and the neck sometimes this got swelled up or got tighter putting pressures on the nerve that send a rush of a message result in the headache contraction of a muscles head and the neck regions called forehead headache we mostly get while doing some our own work office work school work because of so many tensions arises in our body that accumulate in this area of a center so we will get headache forehead headache that is called a forehead headache migraine is an extremely painful some of us nowadays mostly people are suffering from a migraines because it is an extremely painful headache that we can't bear at all so that happen along with the vomit irritations uh, feeling kind of a sweating suffocations and uh, sensitivity towards light we don't want to see the light and if we're getting lot of lights and so much of a sound also that make us to get a irritations that ripples to goes to migrations and and sound using the phone for so long if you're using the phone for the so long overnight or kind of using a light of that you will get a migraine that cause you to suffer for the migraines but with these all the things are there how to get rid of the headache and the migraine do some relaxation exercises do some meditations in morning yoga change your diets nowadays we are totally reliable on the outside of the foods and eating unhealthy food that also calls a kind of migraine and headache because a lot of microbes yeast are involved in that sleeping habits nowadays everyone have lost their sleeping habits sometimes we are going for movie nights and kind of stuff so it takes to 2 3 and kind of the this is the habit you need to change avoid eating so many fast food because they are the preservatives preservative that is some kind of in chinese foods that name is monosodium glutamate may cause your blood vessels to get trigger off and that cause pain to the nerve and you will get a headache eating overnight food you keeping the food in the fridge for overnight and processed foods like a pizza burger they having putting a lot of a microbes yeast is because they are going to prepare by the yeast so kind of these sorting foods will keep your headaches to grow on and if you keep the food in the fridge that also get accumulated with a lot of a things that cause nerve to get triggers and bacterial infections will uh, spread in that food nerve that cause a headache and later it will convert to the migraine so until then let's learn with the focus we'll see you with the interesting topic bye